Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with WK Robert Bruce in the new Egypt update. In the new Egypt land, we've got a pyramid, we've got a little ancient looking town, very Egyptian, very nice looking. We have the new tombs. There's three separate tombs. One is easy, one is medium, and one is hard. Take down Borok and see what I get. I hope I get the best one. Oh dear, I might die here if I'm not careful. I don't want to die. I would imagine if you die, you have to restart. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't want to die anyways. I don't want to take a chance. I don't want to see what happens. Okay, I died. <laughs> I guess I'll know now. Please tell me it doesn't kick me out of the tomb and restart it. Oh my gosh. You have got to be kidding me. So you apparently cannot die. I guess it's good that that happened, so I can tell you that. Occupied. Okay, so if you die, you get nothing, and you have to wait for the timer. So apparently, the medium tomb can give you the lower of the four tier three spirits, or spirits three, if you will. So let's go take out Borok in the medium one. <coughs> now, you can upgrade your skin help heal yourself if you're having too much issue or you just run away but uh, if you're leveling up all the time then you can repeatedly upgrade your skin just as a quick tip oh, spirit of the planet unknown what do you know I got one of the spirits three it's the lower tier part but there it is uh, I've got a good collection of them I do have one of the best now I'm waiting to get two of the best four minutes I'm hoping to get another one of the best I want three of the best obviously because I want to upgrade both of my weapons and my skin and one thing I got to point out I don't know for a fact if when you upgrade to spirit three if it resets I don't think it resets your um, your enchants pretty sure it doesn't but I want to test it before I do it on my fierce azure or I'm gonna be in big trouble that would be really sad let's pick the Spirit of Planet Cyclone. Let's do the Spirit of Planet Verglas because that way um, I have two of them already. I can do three of them right now and I'll do the other three later. So let's do one of the weapon. Let's turn it into Stone Cold. Now let's do Theo into Astro Snowman, okay. Okay, here we go. Let's do the Burning Laser Saber becomes Voltaic. And Spirit of Planet Electron turns Nitro into Diver. All right, two more. Let's do the Merc Black Blade with the Spirit of Planet Unknown. Turns it into the Null Void. I'm gonna be posting the pictures of these New Spirit 3s soon. Captain Squid from Baroness. Oh my. Now, Spirit of Planet Cyclone. I think, um, okay, so Winds of Tornado or D Fly. I'm going with Winds of Tornado. And then, of course, Spirit of Planet Photon. You can either get the Starlight Flare or Risphia turns into Kratos. Kratos is cooler. I know what I'm gonna do. I'll go here and I'm going to equip this and I'm going to max it out just a little bit. 285,000, okay? And what I wanna do is when I upgrade this, I wanna make sure that it doesn't lose its enchants. Upgrade this, I'm gonna upgrade this and we're gonna see if it loses its enchants. We got Kratos, Kratos, whatever. Let's take a look. Enchant level zero. It loses its stinking enchants. Oh my goodness. So I cannot upgrade Vi or my weapons, <laughs> or I'll lose all 160 million enchants. 161 million enchants. Wow. Well, that's tough. I want the Hellblade, so let's do it. All right, did I lose my main one? Nope, it took my offhand one. Okay, now for Vi. I hope it does the right one. 
Please do the right one to become Hunter. All right, that looks cool. Did I do the right one? Nope, ruined my best skin. That's pretty lame, I gotta say. It's 0.06 million levels per spring worse than Vi at the level that I was. So it deleted all my enchants on Vi. I don't know, some 40, 50 million enchants. I'll have to go back and look. That's a bummer. But it does look cool. Actually, it looks really cool. Let's hide the pets because they're kind of in the way. <clears throat> All right, so nice. That looks awesome. Now, let's do a little muddling with other stuff. Let's do some weapons. Equip the Hellblade, let's equip the Sword of Light. Oh, sweet. Hellblade has special effects on it, that's awesome. This guy with two Hellblades looks rad. Now let's do these two. Oh, Voltaic actually looks pretty cool. A little electric charge sword and ice sword. Ooh, those are cool too. I like the effects. No Void and Winds of Tornado. Oh man, look at all these effects. These swords are awesome. Oh man, I don't know. I think I might like the Null Void just as good as the Hellblade. Let's let's get that action on. Oh man, that looks sweet. Now let's check the soul gems. Right now, let's equip Vi and let's equip the Azuras. How's the rebirth looking? 451, okay. Now, does this change anything? Yes, it does. It does indeed. So you're going to want to get two Hellblades before you rebirth if you're on a high level. Um, let's do the Null Void. 476. Even that's an increase. So let's go back to this. 451. With Vi and two of those swords, you get 451. Let's just equip the Hunter. 468. So they're all the same. So Hellblade. Let's see which one's the second best. Stone Cold is the second best. Looks like Stone Cold is the second best. So let's see what the max is I can get. 499? I would get over 500 if I had two Hellblades. So I'm going to have to do that. They have nerfed the gnomes back down to your passive gold, one to one. It used to be three to one, now it is one to one. So gnome method is approximately three times less effective. Well, let's go take a look at the leaderboards. Our classic gnomes whacked. This is not retroactive, unfortunately. So gnomes whacked is how many have killed today. I don't know how many has 21,000, but it's all good. What I don't understand is why it's not retroactive. This really means nothing. Going forward, people aren't going to be killing as many gnomes because they made them one to one gold. So uh, nobody really cares about arena wins. If they made arena better, they might care. Uh, most rebirths still on there. There's no option to change that one up. Uh, quest completions. They have a quest completion leaderboard now. It goes all fi 540. In one day, 540 quests. I don't think that's physically possible. Uh, okay, right on, whatever. And quest points. When the meteor spawns, it now says a message in your chat. So keep your eyes on chat if you want to know. It no longer has a little signpost saying the timer and all that. It'll just give you a chat and you'll see the meteor dropped where it dropped and you can go kill it or break it, whatever. So the tombs have a 14 minute cooldown, not a 15 minutes, 14 minute cooldown. For a new player, if you go in these arenas and you get these drops, they're trash for high level players, but for new level players, you can sell them for a million gold each. So they're kind of useful that way. A newer player could have a really hard time beating the hard tomb, maybe even beating the medium tomb. They could certainly beat the easy tomb and possibly this tomb here. So, I mean, you could sell these uh, these these spirits that you get as drops and make some decent 
coin in the beginning and I'll actually help new players significantly for leveling up. I didn't think about that. So that is good. Now let's go back over and explore out here. Let's go take a look at Beck the Fire God because he is back in the game. In its current state, Beck, this new boss, gives you zero rewards. So I was kind of thinking they might use this new Beck boss as like the boss in the tombs. That would make some sense. Um, however, that's not the case. The gnomes have been nerfed. The boosts have been nerfed. And we are limited by having to wait to get our spirits three. The only way to get spirits three is tomb number three, the hard tomb. I have received all of them. This is what all the skins look like. This is Moth. I've already shown him before. Astral Snowman. This is a new one. Okay. We got Diver. Huh, interesting. We've got Captain Squid. That's pretty cool. Nice belt buckle there. And we got Kratos. Kratos. Huh. I mean, if you guys know where these characters are from, please tell me. I have no idea where these guys are from. I don't know if they invented them from scratch or if they actually come from something. And I put on my wonderful hunter and it stopped swinging. Even though my auto swings on, it stopped swinging. That could be a problem. Still another little bug to iron out. But this definitely looks pretty cool. Got the ponytail going on. I'm not not a big ponytail guy, but for whoever it is, it works. Oh, his belt buckle's a Roblox symbol. Very nice. He's kind of like half bot, half cowboy something rather, or nefarious cowboy. The meteor can spawn in the new Egypt area. I would imagine they're going to be not only tweaking things soon, as I've seen outcry in the public servers since only one person can enter a two minute time and there's a 14 minute timer. Getting these spirits three is very difficult without a VIP server like I have right now. I apologize to you guys. It's sad, it's hard, but they'll tweak it, they'll adjust it, they'll try to make it more fair. They're really trying to focus on the new players. I respect that and admire that, though it does take away most of the incentive for high level players to continue the grind. Um, it's unfortunate. It's really difficult to get that back, that spark of life back in the game. Well, thanks for joining me on this little Egypt update. I hope you guys have fun with the update. I will be checking back pretty soon with a couple more videos coming up. I've got a few more interview videos coming up as well in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for those. Stay tuned for some of my other content on I have been voted to play Mining Simulator 2, so I'm going to do a free-to-play account, a new, brand new account on that game, coming soon, and test it out a little bit, and see what kind of stuff they've got going on it, and I still have my Tapping Legends X, and very soon, I'm debating about going to some of my favorite Steam games and making some videos. The first game I would like to make videos on is called Icarus, so... If you guys are interested in Steam Games content, please stick around because I'm going to be doing some swap ups and doing a little less Roblox and a little more Steam Games coming up in the near future. So stick around. I'm going to be getting a camera soon and switching things up, trying to get a little more professional on some of the stuff. So yeah, lots of big changes coming, just like in Giant Simulator. So have fun, climb the pyramid, get stuck at this point, <laughs> and have a great rest of your day, guys. I'll talk to you soon.